Hello folks, welcome to the channel. If you encounter error 1603, fatal error during installation, then watch this video for the solution. The first solution is to clear the contents of the temporary file. So we'll press the windows and the R key to bring up the run dialog and we'll enter the line temp and click on enter. And then we will just click on one folder, then click on control plus, then plus control plus A to copy all the folders and just click on the delete button you can skip this and you can also skip this and then the rest are all uh, being used so we will not delete them then we will delete the percentage temporary folder also so i will look for percentage temp percentage and then click on enter click on one file then press ctrl a for all files click on the delete button and then skip right we cannot delete this because this is in use this file so and that should be about it the next thing we can do is also do a disk cleanup so we can go to disk cleanup so this will delete the temp the temporary files or the stored files of the program we are trying to install so if you have uninstalled the previous version of the program and are installing the new version of the program sometimes the old versions file stay back and this causes this error so make sure all these boxes are ticked click on ok and click on delete files then once you do that or you can while in the meanwhile while it's doing this it should not take long though you can uninstall and reinstall visual c++ so let us learn how to uninstall visual c++ but before that let us download the installation files for visual c++ so what you can do is look for visual c++ redistributable package download and then go to latest supported visual c++ redistributable scroll down and then you need to click on the link that is corresponding to the system type of your computer now there is an x84 64 there's an x86 and an arm 64 so how do you know which type of system are you running so just look for system information and in system type you can see x64 based pc mine is an x64 based pc so i will download the link corresponding to x64 if yours is an x86 then you need to download the link corresponding to x86 so we'll download the link for x64 and it should download so we'll open that up later once we uninstall the vc so we will look for control panel here all right and then we will click on uninstall a program now the way to install the visual c++ redistributable is we need to uninstall all these files one by one so right click and click on uninstall then this one click on uninstall this one click on uninstall click on uninstall and your this one also you need to click on uninstall all these everything under the microsoft visual c++ including this one so once all of that is uninstalled then you can install the downloaded version we'll go to downloads open the folder and then right click on it and click on run as it i always like to install files and run as administrator because there's no installation errors and it runs very very smoothly and uh, plus you get a lot of features if you run as ad, uh, run as administrator so the next thing you need to do is you need to also clear your desk, disk space so if you have very less disk space and the program installation program is taking more then it, this error shows up so what you need to do is you need to Go on your file explorer and you need to see which drive you are installing the program on and you need to free up some space on the drive by uh, deleting some or uninstalling some unnecessary programs or deleting some documents and huge files that are there on the disk and then what we need to the last thing we can do is i mean all of these solutions should work uh, they, they will work but if nothing else works then there's only one thing that is causing this problem and that is your third-party antivirus software is not allowing 
the program to install probably because the program could be a virus or a malware if you are really confident that you have downloaded the installer from a verified source then you need to disable antivirus and we can do that in windows i can show you but if you are using a third party like a norton uh, kaspersky or mcafee antivirus then you need to go there and disable it but in windows you can disable it if you are using the default pre-installed windows virus and threat protection setting then you can go to virus and threat protection now i am using avg here so i can disable it in avg so we will just go to settings here and we'll go to basic protection and we will just disable the shield so you can do it for 10 minutes you can do it for one hour whatever suits you all right okay stop and we disabled it then we will continue with the installation of the program but again folks a uh, word of caution if you only trust that the in installer is downloaded from a verified source with no antivirus or malware then you install it if you have doubts about the installer then look for the original source the best source of downloading any program is microsoft store obviously look for the app in microsoft store and if you can't find it on microsoft store then you can look for it in bing bing is the best because it gives you the uh, download source from uh, a trusted source without antivirus or without without virus or without malware if this video helped you then kindly subscribe to the channel enjoy your day